Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. I have another video and I know I don't seem peppy right now. And it's for a reason, girl. <laughs> Girls and boys anyway. Patrons of my video. I'm here to discuss a book called Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinborough. Now, if you are a friend or repeat viewer, <laughs> you may know, and if you don't know, I'll tell you. I, every now and then, I get so stimulated by a book that I cannot give a review, and I have to straight up just discuss the ending, and that is how I feel about this book. This book is about, it's from the perspective of two different women. Uh, one is meeting a man at a bar. They're drunk. They have this passionate kiss. She's really feeling him. She wants to keep feeling him, blah, 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 blah. She goes to work. She figures out she works for the guy. He's her boss. And oh, snap, he's married. <laughs> Wife looks like a superstar. Gorgeous girl. Enters character number two, the gorgeous girl, the wife. The other girl's name was Louise. This girl's name is Adele fitting so apparently she's gorgeous she's this she's that but she's got some sort of issues that they hint at throughout the book hint 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 her husband wants to give her some pills hint 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 she you know doesn't have a real cell phone and it's got this flip phone and she can't have her own money blah 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 so she's got all these issues that keep being brought up and her and the husband have a dirty secret and um but she knows her husband's cheating on her somehow and she knows she knows more than she should know right so the further you get into the pool it, the further you get into the book you realize that she's got some paranormal you know powers that she uses where she goes to sleep or she whatever the fuck she does she goes through some door and she's able to take her body and float and go other places and she's able to just oh now i'm at so-and-so's house now i'm here now i'm here and she can just leave her body right and she's teaching the other girl louise how to do that so that's just some some basics if you've stumbled across this video and you didn't actually read the book but this next part is for the girls that read the book so there are two twists at the end of the book and i didn't see not nary one of them coming so the first twist <laughs> The first twist, well, first of all, okay, let's discuss one thing. I was torn throughout the book because I actually loved both Adele and Louise. And I'm wondering if that was Sarah Pinborough's point or what she was trying to do. She wanted you to fall in love with both characters. And let me tell you something, Sarah, I did. Because I was like, Louise is stealing her man. F Louise, but F Adele, she's crazy. David don't like her anyway. What are you blackmailing him with? Like, let him go, girl, right? So the only person I consistently was just like, meh, about was David. So <laughs> like, why y'all fighting over him anyway? He seems like a lame and a drunk, but whatever. Um, you like it, I love it. So the first twist with um, Adele switching bodies with, Louise so towards the end I was like oh snap that's why you have been having old girl go to the gym that's why you want her to make her body better before you get in it you want her to be beautiful because you're gonna hop into her body and abandon yours and then she even does it and I'm like well where's Louise she did you killed her so I first I was so torn because I wanted somehow for both of them to win and then in the end it ended up being Adele that won, but so savagely. Like, that is savage. Like, you threw that woman in your body for 0.5 seconds, OD, had her OD. <laughs> and then you just traipse off in her body that she toned up for you and are going to continue to be with your dude, right? What about her son? Like, what savageness? Like, that was already savage. And it was already a twist that made sense but I was not expecting, right? So I'm like, oh, well done, Miss Sarah. Color me surprised, right? Um, so there's that. Some other details. Um, a 
some other things for me were that the paranormal part, I didn't hate. So, or like the her leaving her body and whatever. I didn't hate that. But when I read the reviews, a lot of people knocked it down for that reason, which is interesting. But I am wondering if it's because my two genre bags are murder, mystery, crime, thriller. And then sometimes they all fit in one genre, girl. That's why I say them together. And then also fantasy. So I love the fantasy horror magical realism i love that and then those two came together in this book so i love the paranormal aspect of it but if you're just looking for a straight true crime where it's got to be real this probably isn't for you um i mean but if you're watching this you already read it <laughs> so i enjoyed that aspect of it but when i was reading the reviews afterwards because i always reread the re i always re read <laughs> i always read the reviews after and not before to not sway my opinion when I'm reading it, but then I wanna know what other people think. And a lot of people didn't like it for the paranormal. I love the paranormal aspect of it. I thought that was excellent. So I enjoyed that aspect of it. Um, I also thought it, it, it just made it more fun I, but I get if, if realism is your, your bag like, or like you want it to be, you know, whatever girl, okay it's fiction <laughs> okay um i did enjoy that aspect of it but prior to that being introduced i thought that adele was seeing those things by putting cameras in louise's house and i was like when is it like so the whole time when she's at home or like when her son tipped the water or whatever was going on with that the paranormal part i was like is this where she discovers the cameras <laughs> Or there were a couple other times when I was like, you're going to be banging him and find the camera, right? Like, when do you find the camera? So the whole time I'm waiting for her to find the cameras and then it's clicking to me like, oh, this is how she's watching you. This is how. There's no paper trails. You can see everything. Crazy. So, um, yeah. I enjoyed that aspect of it, but I understand that a lot of the girls did not. Now let's address the second twist. So the second twist <laughs> is what sort of made what Adele did okay for me. Let me explain. Because I read the whole book and grew attached to both Louise and Adele, but in this last chapter, is when the one-two punch comes out, right? And you learn that Rob is actually Adele. First of all, excellent, Sarah. That was, that was, that was a good one. I didn't see that one coming from a mile away. <laughs> oh my God. I thought maybe the twist was going to be that she had sent the crackhead or the patient. <laughs> I thought she was going to send the patient to dig the body out and get rid of it. And they were going to dig it up and it wasn't going to be there. That's what I thought the twist was going to be. But not that, you know, Rob is in Adele's body. Ah! So, um, that's what made it okay for me. And I know it doesn't make sense to you, but let me explain. I grew attached to what I thought was Adele. And then to get the switch up and learn that it was Rob, in my mind, that's still kind of Adele, but the bad stuff was Rob. And I know that doesn't make any sense. I understand that it doesn't make any sense, but I also wonder if the author did that so that you can kind of make peace with the fact that, oh, it wasn't Adele anyway. It was Rob who's clearly crazy. Yeah. But, the, and that's how I kind of made peace with it. I was like, oh, well, Louise is dead and Adele's dead. Neither one of them get a David. This crazy dude who's talking about wishing he was fucking the passion into him. My God. <laughs> You're the last, whatever he said. Um, that was, that was well done. I enjoyed it. That was a good twist. I don't care what y'all say. I liked the paranormal aspect of it. I enjoyed the double twist at the end. I enjoyed the ride all the way up to we got off the ship, girl. <laughs> and I think that's all I have to say about it. I would love to know what you thought, though, because I know from reading the Goodreads reviews that the majority of you don't agree with what I'm saying. Like, you know, 
Uh, and and then it got super dark at the end. I mean, obviously they don't get into it, but he's like, oh yeah, with accidents can kill this kid and the daddy. Well, okay, Rob, like maybe just be an absentee parent or give the dad full custody or something. We gotta be killing the baby. But um, let me know your thoughts on that. I would like to hear them, but I needed to get my thoughts out of my head on the ending of Behind Her Eyes. Tell me what you thought. Um, I don't do these often, but when I do, it's because you know the ending has done has done some things. <laughs> uh, yeah, write your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear them. Let's talk about the ending. Let's talk it out. Okay, bye. <laughs>